What I have is a camera that can be used more effectively in AI-based projects. This is the OpenCV AI kit called the Oak D Lite. Lite means there is a higher version of this device. I was able to purchase this device through Kickstarter for $84. The higher version of the Oak D is available for $199. Uh, there's a difference of about 100 bucks. What has changed since the price has decreased? Uh, if you look at the camera, you can see a total of three ranges. In the middle, it's a Sony IMX214 image sensor, which is a 4K RGB camera. You can choose a type of the lens when purchasing. Since I choose a fixed focus lens, it does not auto focus. Fixed focus is effective if your project has a lot of shaky images coming in. Uh, it's also better for RGB depth alignment because the lens does move. Conversely, if you need to spot objects at close range, autofocus is a better choice. The resolution of the ranges at both ends has been rolled from 1280 by 800 to 640 by 480. This is because it's using the OV7251. The OV7251 is capable of capturing black and white images at 120 fps at VGA resolution. This is also great but a bit disappointing. Also, the Oak D Lite does not include an IMU uh, inertial measurement unit, so we don't have any information about the current camera's rotation and movement in space. Uh, there is no jack for external power. Data transfer and power delivery are through only the USB-C port. The problem is that the power supply may not work properly when used on devices such as a Raspberry Pi that lacks power. I think there will be an opportunity to test a gain rater when I connect this device to the Raspberry Pi and do a project. If you don't know what project to do yet, it might be a good idea to choose OctiRite first. If you take a look at the source code and the limited parts provided with this first, you will be able to know for sure what products you will need for your project. This device used the SDK called Depth AI by default. A Python and C++ APIs are provided. The very well organized documentation makes it easy to get started. I will show you a couple of tests with the demo script provided by Depth AI on my Mac. It's mounted on a tripod. Uh, there is a hole for tripod at the bottom, so it can be easily mounted. There are also VESA mounting holes on the back of the case for easy mounting anywhere. I downloaded Depth AI's demo source in advance. It takes time because of the requirement installation. You cannot test this code without a device connected. If you look at the console log below, you can see that available devices are found and connected. Also, three links have been created to connect each camera. Since the demo script supports GUI, you can easily configure settings and properties. Also, you can select the CNN model you want and apply it right away. That's really cool. For testing, let's play some videos on YouTube and see how OctiRite finds objects. I put it in front of my monitor like this. The first test is person detection. The CNN model used is person detection retail 0013. Uh, since this is the image incoming through the monitor, performance may be degraded. Please note it. Uh, it's looking for all the people it can find from the incoming image. In addition, the position of each object in space is also displayed. It's really good. Uh, even the perfect person is of mist, but I think it's great if we get this kind of result without any fine tuning. Uh, this test is the very famous Tiny YOLO version 3. It boasts significantly faster performance compared to the existing YOLO. It shows how smoothly it works. Uh, when I get a chance, I'll do more tests with this device. In the 2000s, there are a lot of computer vision projects with OpenCV and these days with dim learning. In computer vision projects based on image processing, the main hardware required is a camera. In my opinion, more unique projects are possible with these new products. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next project.